Yeah, hi, Hello, this is good Anil morning. Dalia. How are you? Uh, with me yeah, is Dr. Reddy, yeah, uh, yeah. Dr. Jaswal, Louis, uh, yes. uh, Nami, Arijit, yeah. Yeah. and we have a full house wanting to see okay. what you are up to. Okay. Hi, Nagin. Okay. Sir, good morning. So here, you know, Anil, uh, it's a pleasure to be here on this Hyderabad Live meeting, which is so important. So we are going to show you a case of, uh, you know, a TAVI actually. And this is a tricuspid valve. Dr. Naginder is going to present to you what exactly we are planning and going to do. Next slide. So he's a 80-year-old gentleman, hypertensive, diabetic, having diabetic nephropathy. Creatinine was 1.5, left neuropathy also. Considering his age and nephropathy and other comorbidities, uh, he's planned for this tower. Echo showed a severe AS with mild calcification, mean PG of 52 and peak of 77, with a valve area of just 0.6 but a uh, preserved ejection fraction. ECG is narrow QRS and NSR. Creatinine was 1.5, we hydrated him, and now it's 1.2. His BSA is 1.7. Next slide. So this is his CT, which shows that annulus is actually quite small. The diameter is 18 and 26, so mean diameter is 22, with a perimeter of 70. So with this small annulus with an area of below 430, the preferred valve, we should discuss. The other things are that Coronary artery height are reasonable, sinuses are good. Next slide, peripheral vessels are good. You can see here, it's a tightly fret with minimal calcium. Next slide. The coronary height is adequate. Next slide. Next, next. So these are peripherals. You can see left side is slightly bigger at bifurcation as compared to right. Otherwise, the uh, vessels downstairs are quite good. So we have chosen left side for going in. Next slide. Next. Next. So regarding device selection, I think we can discuss with a small annulus and an area of below 430. So what should be the choice? Should we take a balloon expandable or self-expanding? With minimal calcium in leaflets and tile leaflet valve, and this is one thing which can, we can discuss. So there are two options available, definitely a balloon expandable and a self-expanding. Next slide. Uh, regarding BSA of 1.7, we have to see with the small annulus that what is the patient processes mismatch. This will decide the future course and future durability of the valve. So if you check it, if it's a balloon expandable valve, it comes into a moderate uh, restricted yeah. valve. And yeah. if you use a balloon self-funding, that is no PPM. So considering this, the best option should be a self-funding valve. Next slide. So the plan is to go for a percutaneous transformable tower. Uh, regarding small illness, we are using a self-spanning pro valve to prevent the PVL. Uh, he's under conscious sedation. We are planning for BAV. This can also be discussed in a low calcium. Cuspal overlap versus commissural alignment, which we'll discuss. And I think Dr. Chandra can discuss about the pre-BAV now. Okay. So here you have seen this case. Can we go to the first uh, you know, this screen now, fluoro screen? Fluoro, fluoro image, please. please. Yeah, okay. So we have gone from the left side, and as you can see, we are just right at the above the bifurcation. The puncture is okay. Next, it's a micro puncture, and uh, here we have done the coronaries were not done earlier. So we did the coronary this morning just now, and the right was okay, just one shot each. But on the left, when we saw, it was okay. a very tight calcified lesion. Next slide, please. So here you can see that there is a very tight lesion in the LED, and I think if you have such a tight lesion. It is reasonable to just treat it. So we decided that we must treat it because, you know, uh, it, this needs treatment. And the left main distal has some disease, but definitely nothing to be done for that. Next, no, keep going. So with this, you know, I we know implanted a 2.75 into a 34 uh, stent, and which was post dilated with a three millimeter balloon. Next, and next, we next. got a good result here. Next. Everything seems to be okay. Next. And now we have proceeded for next. the TAVI. And this was all done from the same left side. So you Thanks. can see that uh, the result in the LED looks quite OK. This is the final result with the LED, which is OK. So now here we are. So let's go to the fluoro image live fluoro screen. So what we have done is we have put a pacing lead and the pigtail from the right side. And we have put a 16 French sheath from the left side. And we have already uh, put a pigtail. We have crossed this. Uh, uh, valve, which was not so difficult, and this is uh, after, this is the crossing you can see, and now we have uh, put the pigtail inside. So 
Once Next. the pigtail is there, Next. The, we are ready for the, you know, checking the valve. So we are going to check it. So you can see the check. I'm just taking a shot. It's a good load. The loading is good. Everything is fine. Now I'm taking a confida wire, which is uh, now going to through this same pigtail. And as far as the discussion of pre-BAV, now the thing is that once we have put the confida wire, we have planned to do a pre-BAV because it is a very tight valve. And uh, also, we don't want to do a post. And uh, the other thing we, which you will see is that if the valve is very tight, then what happens sometimes is that it keeps you know, sliding down if you have not pre-dilated. So that is why once the valve are very tight, we pre-dilate. Otherwise, we can just uh, go ahead without pre-dilatation. So here we are. This is the confida wire, and we have the balloon now ready. I'm taking this, yeah. So any questions or any so comments? So which are the conditions in which uh, using a self-expanding valve, you would consider it mandatory to pre-dilate? One, you have said a tight valve. Any other? Yeah, as, consideration. Yeah, uh, yeah. Other condition is a bicuspid, heavily calcified. If the valves are very heavily calcified, then also we do that. Bicuspid valves, we do that. And also, in those situations where the anatomy is borderline, and we want to check whether the coronaries will be, what will be the status of coronaries at the time after the implantation. So that is what we call as balloon aerotography, which we do with the balloon on, and we do a injection, okay? And then see whether Jinan the quantities are filling or not. So we are across. So now we are ready with the pacing. So we'll dilate it, it's a 18, 16. Pacing. What it's balloon 16, size 18, have you taken? 18. 18. 18 balloon. This is 18. This is a 18 millimeter balloon. So pacing on, 170. 170. Yeah, 170. 170, yeah, pacing is on, go up please, yeah. Deflate, pacing off. Okay. So this was a quick dilatation, and uh, the pressures are okay. The well, rhythm is all right. So can you see the screen also, the floor, uh, can, the hemodynamic can, screening? We can, we can, we okay, can. okay, 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 fine. So now we are ready with the valve. So this is a 26 millimeter Evolute Pro. I'm going to press it here. Okay. Okay. Well. So I've taken out the 16 sheet, and uh, we are doing a inline uh, implantation. Okay. Okay. It's going easily. No issues. The wire is slightly getting so push pulled, so you can push a little bit. That's fine. OK, so the sheath is in, and I'm taking the valve. And uh, you can see that he has put it at 3 o'clock position to get uh, the hat on the outer side, which you will see now. So we'll go slowly, keep checking. Go to the LO. So go to the LO uh, position. This case, uh, one day, IIT Kandulis was small. Most of the parameters, I think, uh, yeah. Is acceptable? Uh, is it possible to do balloon expendable also in this? Yes, it is possible. Certainly, it is possible. But as I said, that we wanted to get that advantage of uh, you know patient processes mismatch because it is a very small annulus, and then the residual gradients are there. So now I'm going a little slowly because I can see that there is some resistance, but it is all right. We are moving well, no problems. So let's go to the implanter's view. So this is 3 o'clock position, and the hat is on the outer side. This is the implanter's view? Yes. OK. OK. Center, please. So this is our hybrid cath lab. So here you can see that the table doesn't you know, move. The, everything, all the movement is happening from the gantry. OK. So I'll readjust the pigtail, because many times the pigtail interacts. And that is why you have to sometimes just, now it is the pigtail is in position. So this is the implanter's view, is it? Okay, push the wire a little bit. 
ओके 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 तो गो टू कॉटल नाउ कॉटल प्लीज कॉटल कॉटल एंड व्हाट इज द दिस कस्पल ओवरलैप कस्पल ओवरलैप व्यू आ रहे हो 23 एंड कॉटल 29 सो वी आर गोइंग टू द कस्पल ओवरलैप बिकॉज द एडवांटेज ऑफ कस्पल ओवरलैप विल बी दैट द इम्प्लांट विल बी you know uh, in a such a position where the you know the depth will be much more controlled so here we are we have not given any contrast so far because of the issues of uh, center please center 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 yeah that's better okay okay so we will take a shot here a quick shot maybe 15 ml okay ready okay Yeah, so this looks good to me, and this is our cuspal overlap view. We we'll, we are starting a little high, because this valve will move a little bit down. You can see that it is moving slowly. So slow, slow, very slow. So we have to be very, very slow, because we'll give it time. Give it time. Okay. Huh? Pacing. Yeah, we can have some pacing. Maybe at 130, 140, 130. Yes, at 130. It has moved a little check. bit down, no? We'll check here. Check a little bit. Check. Shoot. Check. Shoot. Uh, shoot. It's okay, I think. Slow, slow. Uh. faster faster pressure is coming up pacing off so now we are put the pacing off and let's see how it is the pressures are okay Hello, so now we have time we can wait and see how where we are so we can check with just you know 5 ml or 10 ml contrast thoda cordal kam karo ya to okay what out yeah bad raha hai to the leo jao okay we'll go to the leo go to the leo go to the leo so we check always in the leo because then what happens is then you can see the other side as well and this will remove the parallax go go more remove cordal go more leo yeah go more leo that's fine i think we are okay thoda sa cordal badha do little bit more cordal bas theek hai that's fine that's fine yeah. perfect so we are quite okay let's take a little shot 10 ml so we are absolutely okay very very nice high implant it sh- it will be so we'll go back again to pacing pacing on pacing on Pacing on. And thirty. One thirty. Yeah. See the mic. I'm blowing it. Yeah. Push it up. You're pushing. वी आर implanter coming back to the implanters view come to the implanters view okay all right so let us now look at the echo so the implantation is done and uh, we let's look at the echo let's remove it yeah sheet de do sheet please uh. ready sir 
So we'll Let's take this can we go to the other whole side? thing out. No uh, have you I think he's about to. Huh. He's about to. Praveen's about to, about to conclude his case. So uh, case, we'll just so see this and uh, move there. We'll just see this and yeah, we will be done in I think hopefully in five <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. you so you made it simpler than a, so a direct stent tangiplasty. So so. No, no, no. So here we are so with Praveen, this 26 uh, millimeter valve. Praveen? I have took. Praveen, uh, Praveen. Ah, ji, sir. Yeah, 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 Dr. Claire, how are you? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a left main distal disease. Did you do any IVS or something, or uh, you thought it was uh, non critical? Uh, no, I mean, it was not looking that tight. So yeah. at this age, you know, we thought that just fix the tightest portion and then well, pigtail, please. And then. See how it is. So, Doctor Manish is looking at the echo. Everywhere the angiography is not the gold standard for stenosis. So I thought you will do IVF. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, we we I totally agree. You know, we even could have done a FFR or a IVF, but you know, here the main purpose was to do the, you know, because now there is a study also showing that non-critical lesions or borderline lesions should be or can be left alone. First, treat this, and then we can take care of that at some other point in time. So we only treated the tightest portion of the, uh, which was the LAD, and that's it. So here I can't. The pigtail is ah, pigtail is gone in. Okay, so the pigtail is in, and we'll check the gradients. Let's check Bad the gradients, the please. Flush, flush. So. The only thing is, this is our hybrid cath lab, which is in the, you know, the OT complex. So that is only a slight limitation that, you know, sometimes the echo machine is in the, uh, sorry, the IVAS and the FFR, everything is in the other floor where we so have those other are cath lab challenges complex. To answer Dr. Claire's question. I yeah. mean, yeah, because, uh, <laughs> so here yeah, you can see that there the is no uh, gradient. Left can you see the echo? Yeah. Doc so can you see the echo and everything? The, yeah, and the gradients, yeah. hemodynamics, be no case, gradients. Because you have to give the vasodilators during the FFR. Yes, yes, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So we use both IFR and RFR, and it works out pretty well. And I also believe a lot in the IFR and the RFR, because it takes less time when quickly so, what about the pressures? Is there any gradient? What about the pressures? Is there any gradient? No gradient. You pressure, can check. Flow, you can see the hemodynamics. Can we see the now? hemodynamics? Because pressure. Hemodynamics? Yes, yeah, yes. Just one second. Yeah. Mild, Mild. Okay. So we will see. Hemodynamics, please. The the diastolic yeah. pressures are 53. There is no gradient, and uh, I'm just going to see if we should we do a. I don't want to do a you know this is a root shoot. But yeah. we will go by the echo. Echo. I think echo, echo is showing clearly that there is no gradient is, and no uh, signal PVL. Your, your diastolic pressures are good. There is my not the the is here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you can see the, QR, the QRS is absolutely narrow because our implant was uh, high, high implant. And uh, you can see echo now. Dr. Manish is. So you can see the echo. Looking for. Yeah. Can you see the echo images? Yeah, that's visible. Uh, we can, yeah, but can Manish just needs so to no center it. Hardly any for PVL. Us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think there is any significant PVL here. It's all gone. And uh, so we are pretty much done. So uh, thank you for, uh, you know, so making, no uh, making it appear required. like it is the simplest procedure in interventional cardiology, simpler than a TPI. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but uh, all the same, thank you for <laughs> a very nice presentation. And uh, with your permission, uh, and, we'll and, and, you know, yeah. yeah. We'll Dr. sign Dr. off and go to a little more complex discharge. case which is happening in Hyderabad. Yeah. No, no. So finally, we will discharge this patient hopefully tomorrow itself. Fantastic. Okay. So routinely, we are discharging in one day. Yeah. So yeah. and and okay. you will obviously Bye -bye. continue this patient on on dual antiplatelets and and watch for everything else later. Yeah. yeah. Right? Absolutely. Right. All right. Thank Absolutely. you, Praveen. Thank you, Nagin. Absolutely. Thank you, Manish. Thank and uh, we, we, you. we, we Bye -bye. sign Thank off you, from Medanta. And can we go back to Hyderabad, please?